Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and have never met me, my name is Isabel Kate and I do makeup here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And if you would like to achieve some cute makeup looks then I would advise you to subscribe. <laughs> Obviously as you can see today's makeup look is this lovely cranberry and nude look. Um, I really enjoyed how this came out, I enjoyed creating this, it's super duper easy, a lot easier than it looks and it's just very festive and very autumnal without going into the orange tone straight away, I don't want to be predictable so I went for pink rather than orange. But yeah, I'm going to keep this intro really short and sweet because I have to go for my tea, my mum has just called me, um, but if you would like to see how to create this makeup look in very simple easy steps with not that many products then please do keep on watching and I will see you with a bare face in two seconds. Bah! So let's excuse the fact that I look like an egg but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick base like you've seen me do my base a million times so I am not going to talk too much into this if there's anything I feel like I need to say then obviously I'll say it but I just kind of do the same thing all the time. So for my foundation today I'm going to go in with the MAC Face and Body Foundation um, just for a little bit of light coverage. I've got some really dry skin at the moment and I don't want to wear anything too heavy, it's going to aggravate that so this little bad boy should hopefully give me enough coverage to cover up any redness or discoloration without caking my face too much. And I'm just going to pop that on wherever I feel like I need it and blend it out with a brush slash a beauty blender. I never know which one I'm going to use until I start applying so just bear with. <laughs> And now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with concealer. Um, you probably can't see because I've got amazing lighting right now, but I've got some bags under my eyes and just like redness around my nose and just like some imperfections, you know? Nobody's perfect and all that shit. So I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in the colour Light One. And I'm going to use this double ended brush from Huda Beauty. Um, it's the Bacon Blend brush. I use this side of the brush to just pat everything out. And I just like how it looks. I like how it works. It's just easy. I personally wouldn't be bothered by this, but I know some people are like, what's that in the corner of the screen? So it's my hand mirror and it's just what I use. Obviously I'm sat, there's lots of space around me right now and I don't have a desk or a mirror set up here. So I just like to use this little guy. And I'm just gonna go in obviously with this brush and just blend everything together. And just to blend out any brush marks, which there's never really any, but I just like to go over the top anyway with my Beauty Blender. So for bronzer, I am going to use the Huda Beauty uh, Tantor in the fair shade and I'm going to use that brush that I used earlier just from Huda Beauty as well. Just, I go in with a cream base and then I will set it with another bronzer over the top but I just like how it looks, it really blends into the skin when we've not used any powder products yet. Um, and for me, it just makes my skin look a lot more natural and still looks skin-like and I, find, I just think that's really important. So I'll just go ahead and pop it anywhere that I want to bronze. I don't really contour, um, I just work to get colour in my face basically. <laughs> And I still use that same brush to do my nose. I don't really slash can't really nose contour. I'm not very good at it. So I just like brush a little bit on the end and then whatever is left, I'll just like buff this down the sides of my nose. And I just find that that like joins up all the bronzer and doesn't give me like a really wide nose. Um, but if I find that I've gone a bit low down or I just want to clean everything up, I'll use that other end of the brush and just like 
dab under with whatever is left from my concealer earlier on and I just find that helps a lot. I said this was going to be a quick base and we've been going for 10 minutes already. Interesting, very false promises as well, false promises. So I don't like to use a lot of powder but when I do need to just set under my eyes and I just like run a little bit over the face just to make sure that nothing, nothing sticks to the wet products. Um, I just use the Anastasia powder and I tend to take this on a really small brush. I've got loads of brushes like this. This one in particular is the Peaches PC17. I literally tap most of it off and just put it right. Dab it because I don't want it to take any of the product off underneath. But I like to remain glowy mostly. So I'll just like dab it really wherever I can be asked. Now for powder bronzer, powder blush and highlighter, I'm going to be using all the same palette and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Face Palette in the colour Lightgasm and I will show you what it looks like. I'm sure loads of you will probably have seen this before but it's just honestly the most beautiful palette ever. I lied actually, I am going to go in with another blush first just to get me a little bit more of flush and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in the shade Love is the Drug and it's just pink and it looks like this and I'm just very quickly gonna get a fluffy brush smile and just pop this right pop pop this right on the apples of my cheeks I like to put it under my nose as well I like to put this on the center of my face as well and um, some people might not like this but gives me like a almost like a sunburnt look and it looks weird until I've got the rest of my makeup on and then it will look fine. So now I'm going back in with that Lightgasm palette or whatever it's called, going in with the bronzer and just lightly going over everywhere that we went with the cream bronzer. This just helps as well when we've put blush on. Sometimes it can remove or like make the other things we've put on look less prominent so this just helps to bring everything back. And next up I'm going in with the blush shade in the palette and just going over the top. Of my cheekbones. And lastly I'm mixing the two highlighter shades together and I'll pop them right on the cheekbone. So that is the base done. I'm gonna quickly go off camera and do my eyebrows just because everyone's seen me do this a million times. But if you would like me to do a dedicated eyebrow tutorial, please do let me know and I will do it. But I'll be back with you in two seconds. I'm gonna prep my eyes as well. Um, and then we'll be ready to do the eye look, which is gonna be super simple, super easy, but super effective. So I'll see you in a minute. Bye. So I've prepped my eyes already with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eye primer. And I'm just gonna go over this with a beauty blender to make sure that everything is ready. The palette I'm going to be using today is the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions palette and I'll just show it you. It's just like the loveliest, like perfect cranberry autumn winter palette ever. So first and foremost I'm taking this corner shade on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to start blending this into the crease just as a really nice transition shade. Today's look is literally just going to be a really smoky, cranberry eye with shimmer. <laughs> it's going to be really easy. So first and foremost, we'll pop that on the crease. Now, to your eyes on camera, it probably doesn't show that different. And to me, it's not really that different. But it'll just help everything blend together really really nicely rather than have some patchiness which can sometimes happen so now that i've done that i'm going to go straight in with this corner shade in the bottom and on that same exact brush i'm going to pop this all over the lid and start blending upwards As you can see, compared to when we first put that on, a lot of that colour has sort of 
lightened. That's why we work in layers, but it's better to start with this than to go in too dark. So I like to start off small and build my way upwards when I'm doing a look, as it just avoids mistakes, I guess. Now that I have popped that down, I'm gonna go back in with the exact same color, same brush, everything, and just layer that up and build up that color. I don't know if you can see, but it just, I just find that when you do this, it makes everything go on like really soft, which is what I need for like a smoky eye, rather than having any harsh lines, like it just really helps everything diffuse when you're building layers I don't know if that's just me but I don't know like I have to do minimal blending when I'm working in thinner layers so next up on a slightly smaller blending brush I'm gonna go in with this darker cranberry I think this is actually the darkest matte color in the shade tap that off a little bit just so we don't get any fallout so I'm just gonna repeat the exact same steps that I did before and just focus this on the lid and blending it upwards Now, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I have literally got my pyjama bottoms on and I'm just going to wipe my brush on my pyjama bottoms <laughs> to clean it off. And then I'm going to use the clean brush to buff out the edges. Just means that we don't like buff out that really concentrated colour higher up than we want it. That's when things can start to get messy. Now I'm really happy with how this is looking but I'm just going to go in with that same colour one more time and focus it really on the lid um, just to keep that depth now that we've done all the blending. And again just wiping my brush off on my leg and blending the edges. Now I'm just going to take a really teeny tiny blending brush and use that same dark colour and just pop that all over the lower lash line. Now I can get very carried away and bring this really low down so I'm trying super hard to be really careful and not bring it down too much otherwise it changes the look and just makes it a little bit too grungy. So now that we've got the base of the eyes laid down, I'm actually going to go in with another palette and I really hope that this is good because I've never used it but there's a colour in here that I really like and this is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and it looks like this. I really hope that the sparkles are picking up on camera because they are literally just like insane. Um, but there's a colour in here called Element, it's this pinky colour that I'm really drawn to so fingers crossed that that works. I'm going to try and apply this with my finger but nails can really get in the way so I may have to call in the assistance of a brush to help me but you'll see what I'm doing and I'll show you each step of the way. So fingers crossed that this doesn't ruin anything that we've done so far. Hmm. Oh yeah that's really nice. It's really nice because it's not like too in your face, like it really matches the colour underneath. But it gives us a ton of sparkle. When I do looks like these, where I'm like putting sparkle on with my finger, it really makes me want to get rid of my acrylic nails. Everyone loves my nails and everyone always compliments them, but as much as I can cope with a lot of things, one thing that you can't do is put shimmer on with your finger properly. But I'm thinking maybe in the new year I might go short. I've seen a few people do it recently. Sophie Floyd has gone short nails, Belle Jordan went short nails, Jamie Genevieve has just gone short nails, so maybe I should try short nails. So I am happy with that level of shimmer but I'm just going to do one extra thing and I'm going to pop some gold on the inner corner just to make this extra festive um, and to do that I'm going to be using the Peaches Makeup Gatsby Pigment and my Anastasia Glitter Adhesive together and I'm just going to pop them on the inner corner um, with a small precise brush. So that is the eye look totally finished and obviously we are missing one thing and that is a false 
lashes. So today I'm going to be using my new absolute favourites. These are Duff Lashes in the style Fever Glam. Um, they're very similar to the Lily Lashes in Mykonos but they are foam ink so they're cruelty free which is fabulous and I'm going to pop these on off camera using my Duo Lash Glue and then I will be back with you to do the lips and then we'll have finished the look. I don't think that took too long. I think I've been filming for about 40 minutes which is pretty good going so go on I'll be back and this is what the look looks like with lashes I just feel like lashes finish everything off I'm having a bit of an internal dilemma and I don't know which lip to choose so I have this combination which is two Anastasia nudes or I have this dose of colors lipstick which I mean it's like the most beautiful dark cranberry color ever and I just don't know which one to use I don't know I did a look last year a cranberry look using a dark color so maybe I'm gonna use the nude I'm gonna use the nude and then if I want to go over the top and do this then I can whereas if I do this obviously I can't go over the top of nude so this darker shade is called on mute and the lighter shade is called sand and they're both from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna go in with on mute and then sand in the center of the lip to make my lips pop and look massive which if you have been watching my youtube channel or follow me on instagram you'll know I love having massive lips shoot me And that you guys is the finished look and i'm really happy that i chose the nude lip because i just feel it's more wearable for people who don't want to wear a really dark lip but i totally would because i would want to go full cranberry i'm sorry if you can hear the radiator the heating's just kicked in <laughs> but yeah i just really wanted to kick start autumn with not something brown or orange and i'm happy that i went with cranberry i think it's a really flattering color and i think it's just really festive and I love it. So if you enjoy... But yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do like it. If you want to see more from me and you aren't already subscribed to my channel, then please do so. I'm trying to upload every single week. Um, sometimes I fail, but I'm trying. <laughs> Hopefully with this new setup it means that I can film a lot easier and a lot quicker. So yeah, please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, what you would like to see from me next, anything like that. I'm just come for a general chat and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!